Welcome to the second video about basic architectural drawings. In this video I'm going to show you how you can draw windows and doors in plans. I'm also going to show you how you can draw voids in plans. Um, to start with, in the first video, from the first video, you already know how to draw windows and doors in a plan. So this is a window. Um, if the scale of your drawing is a little bit bigger, um, you can show also a little bit more. Let's say this is the wall. Um, this could be a window frame. Um, this is the other side with the window frame, uh, which then would look like this. And if you include the glass, you have three lines indicating a window frame with glass. Window frame. And this is the wall. Um, on the other hand, if you, have a, if you have drawn doors on a bigger scale, maybe you want to include the door itself or also door frames, that could be possible. Or if you're drawing as a smaller scale, um, you can draw the door in a simpler way. Maybe just one line. You have the wall. The door is one line and to indicate that you can go through it, you do a line in the uh, opposite direction. This is a door. Well, and this, of course, you can um, extend a double door. It's very simple. It is just two turning circles. Maybe I indicate the doors themselves, hatch the walls. Now I have a double door. There are other types of doors, sliding doors, for example. Is more or less the same pr procedure. Wall, the opening in the wall, um, the sliding door itself, and to indicate that it can slide, you add an arrow. And if you have a double sliding doors, you do the same, but then arrows in two directions. Sometimes you have an opening in a wall, uh, but without a door. It can be very simple. Uh, you just have the wall and it stops where the opening is. Um, in, in architectural drawings, if, so, if something is above your head, so it's, it's outside of the plane what you're actually drawing, but it is there. So if in this opening there would be a part of the wall above your head, you indicate this with a dashed line. Um, so again, a wall with an opening, but in a case, in that case, I need dashed lines. This shows um, an opening in a wall with a part of the wall above you. So this learns maybe already, that tells you already something about how to draw voids in plans or about things in a plan which are above your head. Um, we have the same, same simple um, house here. Um, but I added a chimney and I added a little gallery. If I now draw a, a ground floor plan of this, uh, um, of this little house, it's a square house again, um, with the interior space, you know the procedure by, by now, and the chimney is here in the corner. And you know a chimney is a hollow uh, canal. So I have to draw this uh, openness in, this, uh, in the chimney. And then there's also the little gallery. You know from, from this drawing that something which is above your head, you indicate as a dashed line. So I take this position and draw the dashed line. So now I know in this plan that there's a, something above my head. Um, this is the ground floor drawing. And you also remember, this is actually a section which is taken one meter above ground, so on this level, looking down. If I would draw a plan of the second floor, of course this would be again a square plan um, with the interior of the building, the chimney again. Then I would see, so 
the second floor, floor plan is looking down a meter above the second floor floor level. And if I look down, I see the gallery. So I have to draw this gallery here. But next to it is a void. There is no floor. Um, the agreement is, the convention is, that you draw in a void. You indicate a void by a cross like this. We had a chimney here. Now it's going to be very small. Um, of course, in this chimney there is a void as well. So you have to go. Oh, it's getting solid. Doesn't matter. You understand the, the idea. In the chimney you have to put a cross as well. So these are the basics of drawing windows uh, and doors and openings in walls and indicating voids in plants. Thanks for watching.